One of the seven persons who died in the atomic junction gas explosion last Saturday was Mohammed Ashley. Mohammed was a cameraman with Netu Television and a member of the Presidential Press Corps. According to the family, Mohammed fell from the atomic junction flyover while covering the disaster. His family and management of Kent City Media, operators of Netu and Oman FM, were at the presidency to inform the president of Mohammed's death. Mohammed Ashley met his untimely death when he was dispatched to cover the gas explosion at the atomic junction in Accra. Mohammed Ashley has been with the Presidential Press Corps for the past eight months. He was reported missing on Sunday, a day after the explosion. The family say they found his body at the police hospital morgue while conducting a search in the hospitals. Stella Japon is the CEO of Ken City Media. Mohammed being a cameraman, took the other direction when everybody was running away to go and try and, and capture pictures. So uh, he was on the bridge from what happened. He was on the bridge trying to take the, trying to film it. And the second blast came. So he, the, the heat or the, the fire just took him and then he fell off the bridge. Indeed, we've gone to the morgue to see him and he was severely, he has severely burned. President Ekufuado said he is devastated by the news of the death of the young cameraman. He promised to help the family in the burial of the deceased. But fine boy, fine boy, and a Susan, a boy, Benny, and a Kunzia, a one family, a Yasa, a college. It is only a local and a message to me. No call me, I don't know. No, what? No, if you have Susan, I will make a crown if you have it to be a Mohammed Ashley is expected to be buried on 10th of October in accordance with Islamic tradition.